the grays were actually a positive rate. They were simply misguided and their own ignorance caused them to let fear control them almost to the point of their demise. Can you talk about how and why the Grey ETs decided to abduct humans and why they chose this particular version of planet Earth and our 1950s? They needed to use human DNA. It was the DNA that was most compatible with theirs. It was essentially their DNA from six or 700 years in the past at that point in their time. And they needed it in order to create something that would survive because otherwise their project of cloning themselves was destined to fail and they would die off. And this they did not want. So why the 1950s? Because the use of the atom bomb created a multidimensional effect. As these sorts of levels of destruction that are now possible could affect the rest of the galaxy, the neutrality agreement is revoked once weapons of this nature are used. Therefore, the galactic races were allowed to come and the proxy, the quarantine on Earth, was broken by the use of the atom bomb. And therefore, once this time began, sightings became more frequent and became not just something that indigenous peoples who are capable of connecting multidimensionally experience. It became something that anyone could experience. And it allowed for more psychic events to take place as well, as soul agreements were being in, in activated between many extraterrestrial races and your planet. So are there other parallel versions of Earth where there was no atom bomb that remain in quarantine and no ETs are visiting? Do you, but they exist. Okay. Um, the first grey abductions uh, were deeply traumatic experience for the humans, but I think you've said that they then made less traumatic abductions later on. Later in their timeline, but not in your timeline, if that makes sense. Because again, they're traveling to many different points in time to get genetic material from many different sorts of humans. The point in time is less relevant than the specific human that they were drawn to for certain purposes. And therefore, greys have abducted people from that early time period of the 1940s into your 2000s. Around 2012, there came to be less interference from the greys because ascension frequencies were starting to become activated more on your planet. And this made your Earth a little bit less accessible to those greys. These energies didn't suit their purposes just as well as the humans did in that window. However, there were still many abduction experiences and there still are. But the other sorts of beings have tuned their mm, interactions in such a way that they are experienced more softly, perhaps sometimes even unnoticed by the conscious mind of individuals who experience them. Because these beings have developed a higher connection to empathy than the greys did. Even the tall greys and their genetic searching activities were much softer and more connected 
in compassion with their human abductees, you could say. I understand. Um, how did they travel through time? This is a very complex subject that we cannot entirely detail now. Okay. Has anything similar taken place on other planets? Yes. And as well as abduction, there was talk of mutilation of cattle. Is that related or something completely different? Accidental landings on farmland caused some cows to be mutilated. Okay. You said they were seeking out particular people. What people were they seeking in particular? People with the right genetics for their purposes. Very genetic pool with certain characteristics of leadership, determination, and the other qualities that the Greys admired. Service, dedication to the collective well-being. And they could sense this uh, with a perception or some technology to find this kind of person? They could observe human lives to some extent before they tuned into them. They would watch people for a period of time. Okay, uh, the, the final thing I want to ask about is the, uh, the further hybrid races. Do they know who they're cloned from or, or anything like that? Or is just their generic from the human race? The beings that were initially created as clones didn't remain in connection and memory of the people who contributed genetics to them. It's not always just one person. The technologies allow extraterrestrials to isolate different parts of the genetic code and select which parts they want to imbue their new creations with. Okay, well, that's all my questions for today. Unless there's something you want to say as a final summing up. Oh, well, we believe that will be perfect and well for today. But we will say that, yes, the gray beings have paved the way for the hybrid races. And you know them, many of the beings who channel today, channel hybrid beings and all of you can meet your own hybrid guides and even your hybrid children if you develop that psychic capacity and it is your highest excitement to do so and as you meet them they will show up at synchronistic times in your life and they will guide you on the right path to bringing this ascension frequency to earth more you are all allowing this open contact to happen by being excited about it and being excited about all the things that excite you and taking action steps every day. Being in that motion and allowing momentum to carry you to bring that passion to all beings that you come to meet. So allow yourself to be the way of ascension and be the wave of open contact and let go of your fear of beings like the greys because the greys were actually a positive race they were simply misguided and their own ignorance caused them to let the fear control them <laughs> Spaceship of Babel, we are gliding through the stars on a five year mission beyond Jupiter and Mars. A celestial encounter on a future Noah's Ark, and you will be here as coming to whisper in the dark. There's an Ewok close behind me as we try to disembark here. Yeah, Obi Wan Kenobi as we whisper in the dark. Oh,
our planet are all with us in the hold We all prophesy our data so we won't be growing old As we speak our further minor with the strangeness of a bark You can hear us on the phone as we whisper in the dark Thank <laughs> you.